Hi guys, Kirk J and Lou here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you guys, or we're going to give you some tips on how to skim coat the cinder block walls. Now I look at this and as soon as I saw it, I told the homeowner, I said, whoa, you put a regular Portland cement plaster here without sand, didn't you, for all the joints? And he says, yeah, how could you tell? And I said, well, I could see it. And it's cracked like an egg everywhere. You're supposed to add some sand, guys, if you're going to try to skim coat this. Then I also noticed that since they don't sell this uh, bullnose right here that I'm aware of in this particular shape and size, that he took a grinder and he grinded off every edge. And there's 12 of these. There's a bunch in the backyard. There's a bunch here. I asked him, I said, gee, how did the neighbors like you after you did that? He said, they all hated me. What happens is when you grind off concrete with a grinder, it puts dust everywhere, guys. Don't do it. Uh, it's a real dusty job. But anyway, he says, well, I'm having a hard time making it adhere. So what I told him is, we'll do it. And here's a trick, guys, a technique, a um, trade secret, a common sense issue. I've got cement right here. This is cement plaster. It's Portland cement plaster. Add some lime. I put a bag of lime in this. Why? Because this wall is hot, and depending on how hot it is, we want to take a hose and mist it. Just, But if it's running water after you mist it, that's too much water. Right now, we had to pressure wash these because he grinded them down. He grinded all the corners, so the dust goes into the grooves here, into all these divots, and the plaster will not adhere. Nothing adheres to dust, guys. Not paint, primer not cement. So what we're doing here is we're going to skim this. And the best way to skim it is, again, put lime in your plaster. Remember that old song? You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both together. You put the lime in the plaster and it'll help it stick better. Watch this here, guys. Okay. Up, oh, big rock. You get a rock, throw it out. Here's what you want to do. For us, we want to skim it. I'm going to get that corner in a minute. What we do first, guys, is we skim coat everything. And then we get our corners after we get our middles. And we got rocks, throw them out. Okay, so there we go. Now when we go for our corner, this is a little tricky, guys, because we want to start from the bottom. Okay, we want to start, put it on here. Start, put a little bit here. And if it drops, it's okay. You get a little bit here. A little bit there, there, and we continue to go up. And then we're going to take the other side in a minute. Now we take this side over here and just kind of turn it, and there you go. You got it on both sides. Hit it here, and you got it on both sides because that other side is holding this. Okay, we put it that way, pull it up here. We can do it this way. A lot of ways to do these corners, guys. I'll show you another technique in a second. And what we want to achieve here is we want uh, crooked. We want our corners crooked um, because we're matching what's over on this other side. So say, for example, here. Here's another way to do this, guys. Let me squeeze over here. Um, put it here. Here here and if I really wanted these corners straight I can do this I can put the plaster here and pull it up but that's making it way too straight we want divots we want imperfections in it so I'm gonna take it back here take it here and put some humps in it another rock what's up with that here pull it here boom 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 and then one last little piece Okay, now remember what we're after, guys. We're after an adobe look, and we want it, we want it kind of ugly. We want it humpty and bumpty and jagged and sandy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to set while we do these other 12. We got a whole bunch more of these to do, guys. So in order to match that finish right there, we've got to let this sit. What happens if I hit this? too soon with water well if I hit this too soon with water it won't match that it'll it'll be too gritty 
it won't it won't have that painted look if I hit this right now with water it's a lot of work so what we'll do is we'll allow the Sun and time to do the work and that what it'll do is it'll dry this it'll turn white it'll start to turn this color here and when it starts to turn that color we take a float with water and we hit it real easy we can close our eyes and hit it so the idea is to put it on know your cements and then when it starts to lighten up then you hit it with the water to achieve what we're after so another half hour we'll come back to this and show you how to do that all right guys we'll show you some more of this it's uh we kind of lost it uh the weather dictates what we have to do and right now it's really hot and so you can see it's turning white right here when it's turning white you kind of lost it well here's a tip guys when you're doing blocks brick or anything and you go up don't pull this off right here because you pull that you pull your own finish off instead cut it like this that way you leave the tops on they're going to put caps on these right here and when they put the caps I don't want a bunch of big gaps yeah we kind of got beat up on this we went to a material yard that sells sand gravel rock you name it it sells it and they had a lot of rocks in this stuff I'd call them but and complain but they'd say Kirk stop whining and handle it uh, normally when I go to my material yards um, say like West Side they just sell felt and sand and ole so you don't get any rocks in the sand when they use the tractor to dump it but anyway guys you can tell it's getting at the end of the day because I don't want to bend down I've got a bucket on a bucket here's what I do let me get over here and take that bucket off the bucket to really show you okay a lot of water guys a lot of water drip it down let it drip down see I don't mind all this water dripping down you see because that saturates everything that we want oh uh, hello okay we want a lot of water just like that because I got to bring this back to life and notice notice I'm using all the water that's dripping down it and I'm pulling it back up because it's hot it's really hot it's about 95 maybe 100 I don't know another tip too guys is I put some lime in this because we're going over all of those um, surfaces that he used a grinder on them and, a, and they're like glass so the, the regular Portland cement has kind of a hard time sticking to surfaces that are really uh, smooth like that you could put a bonding agent over just the corners or you could use a little bit of lime and while I'm on the store subject of lime there's lots of kinds of limes we got regular bags of lime you also got this kind of lime right here too this is a BMI with fibers type of lime you, you could use that on this too there's a lot of kind of limes to use uh, generally I just buy lime in a bag and put it with Portland and it's very rare that I'll do that on something like this because usually I'm just using straight Portland and when I'm going over bricks I'll sometimes go two to one what does two to one mean that means uh, twice as much sand as cement when we're going over walls we're doing three to one that means three times as much sand as cement plaster so kind of like doing ceilings too you want it a little bit richer so that it, it will stick because this uh, cement has a or cinder block brick concrete it has a tendency to want to draw the moisture right out here unless you really know what you're doing especially on a hot day too like like today it's pretty hot anyway guys you see where we're going with this and by the way if you guys ever want jagged corners uh, leave them alone because all we'd have to do is put mud on each side and we can get jagged corners easy when he took a grinder and grinded all this down it not only created a lot of dust for him and his neighbors but it made our job tougher it's easier for us to actually get uh, sporadic or wavy corners if you just leave the corners on 
Uh, I don't want the you know, homeowner to know that because he'll say, dang, dude, if I'd have known that, I'd have saved a lot of time. <laughs> anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. You see what we're, where we're at right here. Uh, we've got to put a closing in on it because it is getting way too hot and we still have more columns to go. We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below, and also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching, and from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.